Hey yo. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Yeah, niggas. I'm talking to all y'all hard rock niggas. Let y'all niggas know that I understand what niggas is really going through. You understand? Motherfucking down to their last cent. Smoking Lucy's. Thinking the shit to do, doing stick up the shit. Busting at niggas. Murdering niggas. Getting bullshit ass money. That's me like every Friday we always do around this time, baby. We got our feature artists in the building right now, man. Go ahead and introduce yourself, homie. Yo. What's good? Yo, what's good, my G? Go ahead and introduce yourself to the Channel Zero world. Yo, what's going on? It's your boy, A Thugger, man, the underground king, Harlem. I'm out here, 125th. I'm on the grind as we speak right now. I'm, I'm pouring live from the Harlem streets. You feel me? All right, that's what's up, man. So tell them. Yeah, people, yeah, uh, like I just want to wanna definitely say, give a shout out, you know what I'm saying, to y'all for definitely having me tonight. I definitely appreciate the love. I'm feeling the vibe, feeling the show. Shout out to the other homie and everything, you know what I'm saying? Definitely. Megastar TV, we in the building, you know what I'm saying? Um, hope Mr. Hall of Fame, man. Check out that project on YouTube, Hall of Fame, A Thug. You know what I mean? We got a lot of videos out there, you know what I mean? We want to try to tune in on the YouTube, subscribe, A Thug, BRS, Black Rolling Stones, Megastar DVD, you know what I mean? Yeah. Keep, keep, so telling, what's going them, keep on? telling them what you got going on, though. Tell them yeah, what yeah. you got basically, going on in New York. Basically, you know what I'm saying? Like, I... Right now, just I got I got a show that I'm about to open up for Fred the God on Wednesday. You know what I'm saying at at this club called the Spot. You know it's gonna be from nine o'clock to like four in the morning. You know that's gonna be a that's gonna be lit right there. It's, that's gonna be a lituation. Um, basically, like right now, I got the Hall of Fame album. You know that's about to drop the Batty Queen single, which you know we're gonna get into. We're gonna get into that single. That's on iTunes right now, CD Baby. I got a video on YouTube, you know. I definitely want y'all to, you know, check that out, share that, you know what I mean? I'm independent, so I, all the love, you know, is definitely appreciated. You know, y'all can hit me up on the uh, Facebook backslash Megastar DVD. You know, y'all could get in tune with me, you know what I mean? Um, I got a lot of projects linked SoundCloud, you know, where y'all could download that PIF and all that. Where, you know, if y'all hit me up, I'll send y'all those links, you know what I mean? Alright, so definitely, man, we, before we get into the oh, Batty Queen. Also, also, tell, my fault, my fault, my fault, I forgot to tell you, like, we got the clothing line, you know, we brand in the Black Rolling Stone clothing line, that's the independent label, and then we also, you know, got the Megastar, t you got the t-shirts, the bucket hats, the snapbacks, you know, we even got the panties, the bras, socks, like, you know, down to that, hoodies, all of that, you know, you could check that out on Megastar brand dot newshop.com that's you know the new shop is n-u-w you know what i'm saying so like right. basically check that out you know what i mean like and support get a t-shirt you know what i mean anybody that support and spend like you know 20 in the store i throw them you know a free mixtape or album you know what i mean like i always show love you feel me yeah yeah that's but um love, basically like... that basically that's what i'm doing i'm just entrepreneur right now you know in the indie 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 lane you know what i'm saying and um, I'm loving the ground right now. All right, so so let, let's not even go no further than that. Let's go ahead and play this Batty Queen so the people can hear exactly where you're coming from and what you're doing out there, all right? Hold up. All right, let's jump into this Batty Queen with my man right here on Charles. Yeah, Rally. let's get, in, get this Batty Queen, our number one single in New York right now. Black Rolling Rainy days, cool side, cool Z, back rubs, paint away. Damn, I'm here, my fade away. Keep a baddie queen like Labor Day. LL, we in it too deep. My mind, soul, body is queen. Not only that, her ass is mean. Not only that, her cash is green. Her friends is black. Hashtag, mega star team. Her glow like the bean. Her conscience so clean. She flow like the bee. She love me, so fuck. Who don't love me? Only God could judge me. We go back like 40s. You made her my shorty. It's nature, we naughty. Be our best king. She, she, she my fatty queen. Be our best king. She my fatty queen. Fatty queen, she on her level. 
She more than pretty, she Zero Live, man. That's your boy right there with Fatty Queen, man. Scroll down right here on Channel Zero Live, the underground music network. I got yeah, my co host so, Don Castro. Hold on, hold on for a minute, homeboy. Hey, I got my co host on the live, um, Castro. Castro, you got anything to say? You got any questions for my ass? Yo, man, one thing I want to salute him on, man. He got some feel good music, and he's bringing that Harlem swag back to the game, too, man. That that sound is, 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 is beyond measures right now. I mean, I'm feeling your whole movement. I was listening to the time it came on. And I'm a big fan of Fred the Godson. He rocks with Swiss Beat, my man Eric Sermon. And I'm from Brooklyn, so I see your Harlem vision, man, along with being real diverse, man, and that's a good thing. And I see your hustle, you know, the clothing line, the, the DVDs, and your market strategy, man. I just say salute to you, man, and keep doing what you're doing. But the most thing I always like to find out from an artist, man, what was your inspiration, man, to even do music? Yo, I just want to say thank you, brother. I appreciate what you're saying right there, man. Like, yo, that's that's love right there. You definitely know what you're talking about, man. Shout out to you. Like, yo, what, what basically inspired me, man, like, is just like, you know, this is, this is like my love. Like, this is something that I, I could wake up every day and do, you know what I mean? Like, and that's what I was, like, always told, like, do something that you love to do, like, like I, I like I actually wrote so many different, you know, this is what I enjoy and then like just everything around it, you know, just me being an entrepreneur, me being a hustler like in a sense and just like, you know, doing cuz you know obviously sometimes, you know, the artwork, you know, you got to you got to know like you said the market, how you going to put it out there, you know what I'm saying? And you know how you going to get your music to the world, like that's the biggest that's the biggest part of it, you know what I'm saying? So basically like I just, you know, I studied the game, you know, different things. So I just educated myself, and I, I I see it in a different light. Like the way I put myself out there is real. It's really important. You know what I'm saying? Everything matters. That's but basically, this is my love. This is what I love to do. You know, more or less. And just like, right. you know, I just want to leave my legacy. You know what I'm saying? And if you had a All chance, right, so, man, like, if you had a chance, right. if you had a chance right now, man. What kind of knowledge would you share to the world right now, man, as far as the way music is going, man, and what makes you keep being so humble? Because there's a lot of originality in the music, like, 
you're not being disrespectful. You know what I'm saying? Saddy Queen, letting everybody know that Queen with a nice physique, you know what I'm saying? And your songs just got that feel good music, man. It's like your swag, man, even though you got a Harlem swag, man, you coming across very diverse, man, like being able to touch me. And I'm right here in South Carolina. And I'm from that's what's up, yo. And a lot of people say with that record, you know, it's, it got like a bounce where down south could really bang with that. You know what I'm saying? Like I get love from people down, you know, Atlanta, North Carolina, South Carolina, Miami, every everywhere with that type of song. So I feel like it's like a universal song. I try to like make universal music. You know what I mean? I don't like, even though I'm from New York, I actually try to, you know, first off, like if everybody's making trap music. You know what I mean? Like, I gotta I gotta find my lane. You know what I mean? I suggest everybody find their lane. Like, don't try to be like this person or that person because they're popping or relevant at that time. That's what actually is, is, is tarnishing the, the, the state of state. And also, you gotta stick to your creativity, whether it be people around you or people trying to influence you to do this or do that. You know what I'm saying? Like, you gotta, like, really hold your own. Like, even when you get on tracks with other artists, you know what I'm saying? You gotta you gotta be yourself, you know what I'm saying? Because that's how you really shine. If you notice any artist, it was their originality. And then it's like other people, whenever somebody's coming out that's hot, you see somebody that's always trying to mimic them, whether it is. I could give you an example. I do studio time, I shoot videos. That's what Megastar Brand is about. We actually, you know, we work with, we do interviews and different things like that. So we, that's how I create revenue also, because this is what I do. I'm, I'm, I'm knee deep in the game. But basically, what it is, is I got people that's from Harlem. They, they sounding like they from Chirac or like got that Chief Keef, like, you know, type style. Like, which I guess it's like, it's real influential. But that's not a Harlem style, you know what I'm saying? Like, in a sense, you know what I mean? Like, so you got to, like, be able to be, you know what I'm saying? Things got to add up, you know what I'm saying? But nowadays, it's just, like, one big free-for-all, you know what I'm saying? Like, people who's not really true to the essence of, like, you know, some real hip-hop. Like, they don't really, they, they haven't really heard, like, these young generation haven't really heard, you know, some of the, I, like, the real legends of hip-hop, you know what I'm saying? Like, and that that's a must. Like, you got to do your history... But it's like, it's a difference between rap and hip-hop, I always say. You know what I'm saying? A lot of these people, they rapping. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. if you're a real yeah, MC, I feel, you know... I, I, feel, I, I feel everything you're saying, bro. But if you if you really look at the history of it, when 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 the hip-hop was in New York and everybody down south was listening to New York, everybody down south was rapping like they were from New York. But now that... Bro, exactly, man, yeah, exactly, too, yeah, yeah. But either way, that was still... That was still whack because even people who was from down south that had their own style and and that you know they had that little country draw like whatever, but like it's still no matter what, however you look at it, New York is the is the is the birth of of rap and you know what I'm saying. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. that's there's no way that you can't say that we influence anything that has to do with it in any way. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. us being from New York and I'm just speaking of a New York type of artist that be doing that. That's what's actually. You know, I feel like that's not real. You know what I'm saying? Because that's not your sound. That's not, you know what I'm saying? Even if you do like that, you could support it. You could do songs with them and all of that, collaborate. But that's to take that whole style is like, come on, man. You know what I'm saying? And that's you, you asking me personally. Like, it's not, it's like be yourself. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like I'm myself when I actually rap. You know what I'm saying? I don't try to be like nobody else. You feel me? Right, right, so how right. Do about, yeah. How do you feel about H. That Rock saying, like, all, the, all the South dudes sound the same. He said that earlier this week. Would you agree with that? Or Say that again. I didn't hear what you said. ASAP Rocky, the rapper ASAP Rocky, he said that all the down South people sound alike. Do you agree with that, or would you disagree to agree with that? No, I think I disagree because it's like you know what I mean. If you listen to Ti and you listen to Gucci Men, it's, it's different. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Like. Like, I, I think he's talking about as far as, like, you know, sometimes it's, like, with the hooks, it be so repetitive, saying the same thing over and over and over, you know what I'm saying? Maybe the substance, or maybe, like I said, it's just that same type of trap, trap type of drill beat, you know what I'm saying? Like, everybody's just following the same wave, you know what I mean? Right, I mm-hmm. That's probably what he's referring to, but, like, as far as sounding the same and everybody, lyrics is not, it's just different levels to it, you know what I mean? 